are you? And today we are actually going to be discussing um, spirit guides. What are they? And do you have a spirit guide? A lot of people, it's really weird. It's not actually weird, it's actually normal. A lot of people that I meet you don't know what spirit guides are. And I'm living in my world, I'm a witch. By the way, I'm Deborah. Thank you for listening to me. And welcome to my spirit room. And we are in here discussing spirits. So, a lot of people I meet uh, don't know that they have spirit guides. And by the way, please like the video if you like the video. And please hit on that subscription button. And so you can know when I'm going to be recording again. Uh, also hit the notification button. Do that as well. So when a new video comes out, you will know. I usually put them up about twice a week. And I might put them up more if I get message from Spirit. And I'll, I'll tell you. So, Spirit Guides, people don't know that they have them. If you know that you have them, then you're really on the right path. If you are on the path of being a witch, like I am, being one forever and ever and ever, um, or you on any kind of spiritual path whatsoever, connecting to your spirit guides is one of the most important things that you actually want to first do. Because this is what opens up the world to spirit for you. The connection that you have with them, it is so important. I'm going to mention about five, five kinds of spirit guides that we have and how we have them. And by the way, even if you think I don't have them, yes you do. You have them, okay. Our main spirit guide would be a person that has lived on earth before, they have been reborn again and again, and they know you, you know them. Before you were born, you actually made a contract with them, a soul contract, that they would come forth and help you in this existence. Most of the time, these people are people that you have shared a life with before. You know each other very well. And they understand your journey more than you. Because you have completely forgotten who you are. So they are here to help you remember. And that is the beauty of connecting to them. Because they will literally show you little synchronicities and little nudges. And eventually you can begin to even hear them. We can even discuss in the next episode of how to hear or how to connect your spirit guides. I think that'll be a nice step forward. So ancestors, they are now something else. Oh, by the way, spirit guides as well. You can have more than one. You can have three to four spirit guides. And sometimes, this is the hard part, sometimes our journeys are not easy here on this earth plane because our soul's evolution is so in the place where it needs to learn lessons it needs to evolve and the only way you really evolve is through kind of experiencing hard times i know we don't like to hear this we never came here to party okay we came here to evolve so when our path on this earth is not an easy one especially if you're a child and you've experienced some kind of issues as a child that has been very hurtful to you you might find you have a bigger team of spirit guides around you all the time to give you that support even right now, you are sitting in the room that you're in and you're thinking, I don't have none. Yes, you do. You have them. They are there. And to communicate with them, you would do the same thing as I'm doing right now. I'm talking to you. But I don't even know what you look like. I don't know where you are in this world, but I know that you are there. So that is the same thing. You would just literally talk to them and be like, you know, my guide, I don't even know you, but you know me. Please help me on this path. Show me a way. You know, just be there vocally with them. Um, now we're going to jump to ancestors. Ancestors are going to be people that is in your DNA group. So your great-great-grandmother, great-great-grandfather, great-great-great-great-great-great-great as far back as it can go. Even aunts and uncles and all these funny things. So these people uh, pass on gifts and personality traits even, and ways of thinking, because it's in our DNA. And when you find one of your ancestors has a gift that they had that was so good, let's use for example art. Say you had an ancestor who was an amazing artist and it can skip three, four generations and it comes up in you. This ancestor would then be let me go to them let me help them evolve this gift 
because it's something that it was a passion for me and is going to be a passion for them. And then this is how ancestors come forth. That is how they are. Now, just a little note. I have experienced this one. Ancestors do not have to be DNA completely because I've experienced this firsthand. You can be adopted by an ancestor. Yes, the ancestor of the land that you are living on. Now, we all not from the original places we originally are from. We are very busy people. We move around a lot. So I, my people are originally from England and they have found themselves in South Africa and in Southern Africa also. And I was actually very grateful and in awe that I realized one of my spirit guides was a South African Sangoma, excellent herbalist. And she came forth for me and I was very honored to have her take me under her wing and guide me when it came to herbs. And I really am grateful and thank her. So these are ancestors. So now we're going to move on to angels. Um, angels. A lot of people have say, yeah, I've got an archangel that is my spirit guide. Or I have an angel that is, that is my spirit guide. And people might say, but how, how do you have an archangel? Archangels are doing big things up there. What are they doing with you? Uh, really, all souls are great also so important and at the same time we are looking at the world with blinkers on we do not realize that um, if we take a step back we see the whole big picture and these archangels their energy even normal angels their energy is so beyond what we can ever imagine what we can ever understand they have enough energy for everyone I mean, it doesn't matter if you're a millionaire who is a spiritual guru and you are helping people over the world. You're just a little child, a little street child, but you have that spiritual thing in you. This archangel will look at everybody as being as great. And they can, they have enough of themselves to give to a million people. It is beyond our understanding. And this is a very beautiful thing. A lot of angels are extremely protective. And many times you might have actually had a miracle from one, especially if you've had that thing where, um, you know, I was seconds from disaster, sort of an event. Like I felt the wind blow on my face. And if it wasn't for that, you know, that step back that I took, I wasn't going to be here anymore. Those are most probably archangels or even angels that have come down to like take you out of harm's way a lot of these things happen more than we can ever realize and if it happens it's ha if this has happened to you wow so comment below i'd so love to hear about it so would everybody else so let's spread that information that this is not just oh, it doesn't happen no it's happening it's happening to everyone it might be happening to you so that's wonderful and then we're going to discuss now quickly uh spirit animals oh my favorite spirit animals are amazing spirit animal energy is so fluid and so smooth it doesn't even feel transition between spirit world and earth world it's almost like they the way they run around in in life is how they do that now and a lot of animals that were our pets have become our spirit guides especially dogs oh they are so loyal if you've had a dog that has passed away and you know sometimes you might feel that that feeling of that animal or you know you even see a little flash past the corner of your eye or you know it's just a movement or a sound you might think you hear them barking or even just the, the tail on your leg it is most probably them and dogs are extremely protective of their owners and will usually stick around to keep on protecting you if you're a cat owner like me you would have um, a cat come through and actually wish to assist you in spirit work because cats are very well known to see what is not seen to hear what is not heard so they would come forth and assist this way it's why witches like cats now you know <laughs> so that is a beautiful beautiful thing and we have other animals that can come through as well according to what you are going through in your in your life or according to what strengths you may need they'll be able to give those strengths to you and stabilize you and help you to be more authentically who you are so the last thing i want to discuss which is the fun fun thing um is other kinds of spirit guides so these other kinds of spirit guides i like to think of them as the others these beings have never lived on earth they have never uh, been human and they can also be your spirit guides so 
what are they? Let me first let me first do this. You know we have a history timeline, right? And history goes from here to here, and we have history. And then all of a sudden, from here to somewhere over there, very far back, it is mythology. Now, who made up that that thing? What makes us think that people were carving things into stone back in the day? This was their way of recording history. And the people back in the days didn't have less intelligence than what we have right now. So they were recording what they were experiencing. So mythology. Mythology are the other people who are our guides. And as rich as we know, we revere gods and goddesses. Every culture speaks of gods and goddesses. These are the star children. These are the Palladians, these are the ones that come from another part of our galaxy that came to assist us. So the other part of the spirituality of this thing would be elementals. And elementals are the most beautiful beings and actually shared the earth with us at one time. And they pulled out, they have pulled out a lot. And we know them as fairies and the fae and pixies and owls and all these things even even genies which are actually called jinns and really what is strange every part of the world has its um own mythology let's call it mythology okay it's not mythology. It has its own mythology of these spiritual beings so you would find this is allocated like owl, owls they are more closer to like this northern countries the cold weather you know and then you'd find fairy and uh, pixies more allocated to wales and ireland england you understand so that every country every part of the globe has their own kind of connection to these spirit beings these spirit beings have been here they work with plant mainly with plant but they work with stone they work with crystal they work with animal and they work with seasons so when we as human beings started getting naughty and getting a bit out of hand and destroying a lot of stuff around us they did a tough love and they pulled out they live in the same basic space that we live in but it is in another vibrational um in density i think you can say think of it as density we are very dense they're in a very much lighter density so they vibrate much higher than us but everything that we do on earth affects them it affects all of them so we need to be very mindful of that so these little beings and some of them are not that little they're very powerful energies actually can come through as a spirit guide for you as well and if you have a very deep connection say to oh you have this thing for unicorns or you're just into dragons or you you know you have fairies everywhere you might find one of your guides is actually one of these amazing beautiful souls and they are coming through because they really want humanity to awaken they are doing the tough love on us they want us to become the caretakers where they used to be the caretakers it is our turn to take that place so that we put earth into balance connecting back to these little beings and these energy these elementals um, actually opens up pathways and in fact connecting up to all your guides and your ancestors and your angels opens up energy pathways for the earth to heal and this is really what all humans need to understand this is what witches understand we understand that we're not alone we understand that there is so much more than what the eye can see and so we work with that all the time and this is the fun part of being a witch and you go on this path so next week i actually want to discuss some things that you can do that you can actually start to connect to these spirit guides what can you do what, what do i do how do i even know i'm getting a message so that will be really interesting and fun to talk about and growth experience and i'll explain to you some of the things that happens to me when I talk about them and how it makes me know, is this my thought or is this something else? So you really need to differentiate between what is spirit guide and what is you. And I'm gonna kind of like help you a little bit so that you can start on your own journey and start to feel those little things in yourself. Very beautiful journey to take. Lots of help available for you, even though you may not know it right now. 
thank you so much and uh, please like subscribe the video share it if you have anyone you think might be interested in spirit guides or is on that journey of spirit guides if there's anything you want to ask me you can ask me down in the comments um, you can follow me on my instagram page and contact me through there it is all linked below and yeah let's discuss next week how to actually start to open the communication between you and what is unseen around you by the way people these spirit guides are not spying on you so when you go off into the bathroom and you're doing your thing they, they're not spying on you they don't have physical um bodies the way we do they are living in a spirit spirit realm they only see your light they don't see what you're doing just in case you're wondering <laughs> let me just add that in there <laughs> imagine oh my goodness you know <laughs> okay guys thank you so much for listening like subscribe share turn on the little notification bell let's discuss how to communicate with these amazing beautiful people that share our existence love you all so much light and love